Cinco de Mayo, written and illustrated by Travis Schaefer. Today is May 5th. We celebrate Cinco de Mayo. May is the month, and it's the fifth day. It is a day to celebrate Mexican history. Carla is having a party. Carla and her friends listen to music. They have fun dancing. Carla and her friends have a parade. They have fun dressing up. They're playing instruments. They have the Mexican flag and the sombrero. Carla and her friends eat special food. They have fun trying new food. Carla and her friends hang a piñata. They have fun eating the candy inside. Have you ever hit a piñata before? Carla and her friends make crafts. They have fun making flags and maracas. Carla and her friends have a lot of fun. They celebrate Cinco de Mayo. The end. Let's celebrate Cinco de Mayo. We're going to make do-it-yourself maracas, just like some of the instruments that they played in our story. What do I need? Let's look at the things that we need to make our maracas. First, I'm sure these look familiar, plastic eggs. You just need one or two. Next, in the red box, is rice. Just a little bit of rice will do. At the bottom, there are spoons. I use plastic spoons. And last is tape. You can use any kind of tape. Duct tape, painter's tape, scotch tape. Anything that you have at home will be great. Let's get started. Step number one. You're going to pour the rice into the egg. So pour the rice into your egg. Step number two, put the top on the egg. So you have rice inside of your egg. And now you put the top on. To make sure that it doesn't bust open and make a mess, you need to tape the egg together. Remember, you can use any kind of tape that you have at home. Just tape the seam of the egg so it doesn't fall apart. Step number four. You're going to put the egg onto a spoon and then put another spoon on top. So put the egg in the spoon and then put the another spoon on top. Step number five, you're going to tape the spoons around the egg. So wrap the tape around the spoons and the egg so they stay together. Step number six, you're going to tape the end of the spoon together. You're going to tape the end of the spoons together. And our last step is step number... Step number seven, you're going to shake them. Let's look at it again. How cool. This is an instrument that you can use to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And I'm sure you'd love to keep it even after today. This is an instrument you can use for our ABC song. Have fun.